Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. Last week I ranked fast food restaurants. There's a link to that video in the description down below. But first, let's hop into the video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Animal Crossing New Horizons is a life sim game. You get invited to come to an island by Tom Nook. When you get there, you are able to pick wh what island you want to go to from four choices. When you get there, you are able to do lots of stuff, but I'll talk about that later. Now let's talk about the story of Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing New Horizons doesn't have much of a story, but it, but it doesn't matter. You get a getaway package from Tom Nook to go to a des des deserted island. Then you walk, go around that island, you build a shop, a tailor, a museum, and you, get, and you invite tons of NPCs to come. You, you, you do the, all this though to get a three-star island in order to get KK Sliders to come visit your island to finish the story. After you get KK Sliders to come to your island, you are able to get, you're able to get the island designer tools. Uh, so you're able to build a mountain, or you're able to like pretty much raise it down, you're able to like lower mountains, you're also able to create like another river through your island and all that stuff. But you're also able to change what the what the material of the ground is though, so you could change it to, to, to sand, dirt, stone, and much more, even custom ones. Now let's talk about the gameplay. In this game, time to time and time time in the game is the same as time on the Switch. So if you change the, the time and date on the Switch, the time and date on Animal Crossing will change. But a lot of people don't don't think that's acceptable, and I can't really do it right now, dude. Uh, and I don't feel like doing that. Uh, the there are lots of new features added in this game. Like one of them is the crafting system. The crafting system is great. I feel a lot of people might not honestly agree the same way with me, but this is my first Animal Crossing. Uh, but the but the crafting feature you you craft tools, you craft furniture, you craft a lot of stuff, but you're still also able to buy some furniture and that kind of stuff though. From Tom Nook's kids, I think, or nephews, I don't know what they're, uh, Timmy and Tommy, at the Nook shop. Uh, you, uh, you build an axe, you have lots of tools you build, you craft, you build, you create an axe, a fishing pole, a net, a slingshot, a, uh, a ladder, and more. Um, uh, but all, most of those break. All the, the tools break besides the ladder. I, the, the slingshot does break, but I don't. I just have, but it's only broken like once with me though, dude. Because I, I guess I just have not found the uh, found uh, the the floating the presence to come that much. But uh, but first you start off with flimsy tools, and those things break super easily. But as you go on, you get better and better tools until you're able to get the gold tools. But th even those will eventually break. Everything will break. After you get KK Sliders, though, dude, you have to, you have to get more. You have to get a uh, tool. You have to get more and more uh, the of the Nook Ink points. You have to get like a. You have to get like I think it's like almost like ten thousand Nook Ink points to get all of this stuff. Though it's a lot of it's a lot of work to get it. That's probably way more than that. I think it's probably more like thirty thousand or something like that. Though it's under thirty thousand, I think, or three thousand. Yeah, it's under like 10,000. No, 120,000, I think. It's a lot of Nook points. But it is worth it, though. Because when you're able to do that, though, you're able to create it. You're able to, like, build. It's a lot. It's, you're really able to make your island your own and how you want to do it. So this game is really good. Uh, let's talk about, about bugs and fish. One of the biggest things in this game is the museum. Uh, with the museum, though, dude, you collect fish. You collect... Fossils, you collect bugs, and you give them to, to blathers. You and even now you collect art from Red, which I'll talk about later. Uh, this game does add a lot of new features. Okay, in order to get the to get the museum, you have to first donate five fish, five fish or bugs, and or bugs. Then you find a place for the museum. Then the next day, blathers will come in a, in a tent. And you have to give him 15 more bugs or fish. And now you can even give him fossils. But you have to get 15 of those. And then in a few days, your museum will be built. 
The same thing applies to the Able Sisters, but but with museum though, dude. Uh, you don't you don't start off with the art part though, dude, until Red comes to your island though, and I don't really know when exactly he comes though, dude, because it's probably different for, for a lot of people. But when the first game started, it wasn't in the game when it first came out. Okay, let's, let's talk about the Able Sisters. Actually, the Able Sisters, they're actually one of my favorite shops in the game though. I just love going there and just grabbing like a lot of the clothes there they have. I think, like, half of my storage unit is probably just filled with clothes in Animal Crossing. But, let's talk about the, the NPCs, actually. Uh, NPCs, ooh. There's a lot of them. Like I said, Red, which is a fox who sells painting and sculptures. But some of those paintings and sculptures are fake. And you have no clue unless you look it up, dude. Because, like... But using an online guide is actually the best thing you can do for there. Because if you don't use an online guide, though, dude, you, you could just grab a random uh, painting that's worth nothing. You just lost, like, like 5,000 bells. Doesn't seem like a lot, but you only buy able to buy one thing per day whenever Red's there. And he doesn't come there that often. So it is really diff. So you don't want to waste it on, like, a fake one. I think last time he came here, he didn't even have a real one with him. I didn't think that was impossible. Okay, let's talk about my time with Animal Crossing. Uh, oh, wait. Let's see. There's Kick. He sells shoes. He's probably my favorite NPC, actually. <laughs> Love shoes. Of the ambassador shoes. Okay, getting off track there. Uh, but uh, the majority of the NPCs who li uh, are the people who live on your island, actually, you can have up to ten villagers on your island, though, and you start off with two. I'm gonna as you pop right now. You should be seeing like uh, pictures, or videos of the first two villagers who were on my island. Yeah, they're okay, I guess. But when I first saw Animal Crossing, I spent like four plus hours playing this game every day. For like the first half month. Because after that school started and all that stuff. Uh, most because it was summer also. It was like the newest. It was the only game I really had at the time. I had other games but like. It was uh, the first, the only new one I had. But, but over time I spent less and less. But I still played every game day. I think now I, I'm averaging like 20 minutes a day. 20 or less. It's only that much anymore. I think recently I, I even stopped playing it for a day though dude. I just didn't really feel like playing my Switch. Uh, but, but dude, let, let's start talking about the actual, about, about every, about, but what I actually feel about this game in whole. There is a couple bad things, though, like the camera. The camera sucks. I don't get why the hell we aren't allowed to actually rotate the camera around the island. Why are we only allowed to look at it through one way? Makes no sense. Uh, like, some of us, like, some of us want to just, like, look around the entire island, dude, that'd be cool. Be awesome. Okay, New Horizons is a great game. And it is a very relaxing one, dude. But then again, though, dude, it ain't perfect. But then again, dude, I've never actually... This is my first Animal Crossing game, though, dude, so... But I give this game a 9 out of 10. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And also push your notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload every Tuesdays and Fridays starting next week. Bye.